One time, Ray Kroc was speaking to a group of university students, asks the students, you know, what business do you think I'm in? All the students are saying, oh, Ray, of course, we know you sell hamburgers and fries. You're in the hamburger business. And Ray said, no, I'm not in the hamburger business. I'm in the real estate business. Uh, that's partially true. That's what most people know. I'm going to give you something more advanced. You want something more advanced? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what people think of. Uh, it has evolved a lot. First of all, McDonald owns some of the big, most expensive real estates in the world. They have a lot of different locations. The, the only reason they offer fries and burgers and all that, they are really in three businesses. One, they are what I call in the business in a box business. Some people call that franchise business. I call that business in a box business. Okay? So people buy McDonald's franchise, they're buying business in a box. It's turnkey. Walk in, ready to go. Why they need to sell the, the, the fries and the burgers and all that? Because it is cheap. Mass appeal because they need to, the franchisee needs to be able to make a decent income so that to pay McDonald's the rental income. So McDonald goes in and buys this piece of property, builds it, which they, do you think they have a proven system how to build these things at a good cost quickly? You bet. They, they build tens of thousands of these, right? Franchisee comes in, pays them money, to, which is about now one point some one million dollars, right? To buy McDonald's franchise, which they would, guess what, leverage that to get the financing to build this thing so there's no money out for them, but they own that piece of real estate that you, you, you're leasing now and you buy. Oh yeah, you're, 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 you're a built-in tenant. So that's the first business. They, so they sell you the business, they make money up front. They own the piece of real estate, they make money monthly. But that's not the biggest business. The third business is not even the royalty. They get the royalty income too. Yeah, multiple streams of income right there. But the biggest business they have, McDonald's right now is the largest suppliers to this. Your straw, your napkin, the burger meat, that's where the business is. They're not in the retail business anymore. They're in the wholesaling business. Think, think about the volume, it goes through McDonald's. So, because if you only have a retail business, it's, they don't touch the retail, that's not, retail is expensive. So they minim, minimize the risk by having the franchisee pays for it because they developed this phenomenal business in the box. And then you have the real estate, which builds massive amount of wealth. They can refinance, get another location, all, all, all kinds of stuff they can do. And third, wholesaling, just all day. How many fries they supply every day to the world? How many burger meats, how many nuggets, how many, like, this is why McDonald's is very strict. You never ever buy, you cannot, let's say if I, I'm a franchisee, and I could find someone, I can find somewhere I can buy napkins cheaper. Can I buy that? No. Every single thing you gotta buy from McDonald's. From the napkin, from the straw, from everything, from the, the, the paper that wraps a damn burger. You have to buy from McDonald's. Every